Hey guys and welcome back to another plan with me. This time we're laying out the month of June and the theme is air balloons or the sky in general. I've always had this fascination with air balloons. They just, oh, they just seem so magical where I live uh, when it's air balloon season. Some days you can just see, it feels like a hundred of them but it's probably just ten. But you can see them flying up in between the houses. And it's just so beautiful. So I thought since I'll be traveling this month, I wanted to kind of incorporate that into my theme. So I thought air balloons was a pretty cute way of doing that. So for my cover page, I'm just drawing this little circle of sky and an air balloon flying up past it. I wanted to create a kind of gradient in the sky like it is in real life. If you look at it at the horizon, it's darker the further up you look. So I wanted to kind of uh, make it look like that. So I used a water pencil to blend out the Tombow ink since it's water-based. And I think it actually turned out pretty well. I am kind of impressed with myself. Then I just coloured in the air balloon in different shades of blue and added some shadowing. I'm not really sure of how I the look of the air balloon, but you know what, it's okay. I lost the footage of me writing out June, but as you can see I just wrote it. <laughs> And for my monthly layout, I just made this calendar thingy. I usually don't uh, draw out the days that aren't in the month, but this time I I did that and just like crossed them off. And can you believe that I actually? didn't mess up the calendar this month. I am actually extremely impressed with myself because I've done that the entire year. But not this month, not this month guys. I am on a roll. I also don't think I actually misspelled something. I promise you guys are probably going to see something that I missed but you know what? I didn't see it so it doesn't exist. I added this big balloon hovering in the background of the calendar and kind of in front of my monthly to-do list. I thought it added some nice depth. One of my dreams is actually to fly in an air balloon someday. I'm just standing there in a balloon filled with hot air and looking down on like fields and city that oh it just seems so good then I wrote out June again and I had it like a little airplane flying out from the tip of the E looks kind of cute Adding a drop shadow in blue. I'm using, I think, four or five shades of blue for this entire month and nothing more. I usually use a lot of different colors, but this month I just, I decided to just use blue and it really brings the whole month together with all the spreads. Onto my habit tracker, I decided to go for a vertical layer again as opposed to last month. But instead of writing out the habits I'm tracking, I drew a little icon for each. 
So for example, the little pill in the beginning is for taking my vitamins and the fork and knife are for eating properly and so on. And for my mood tracker, I decided to keep going with the kind of coloring book style that I did last month. So I drew this big air balloon and sectioned it off into 30 boxes so that every, every day I'll fill in one of the spaces with the color that corresponds with the mood of that day. I really like how it feels like I'm filling in a colouring book rather than tracking my mood. It really looks pretty but at the same time I get a really good overview of how my mind has been doing that month. I wrote out habits and mood the same way as I did June in the monthly overview. Then I just added some clouds and some paper airplanes and I don't know, I, I think it looks really cute, even though my, <laughs> my airplanes are a bit off, but that's okay. Now for my one line a day page, I just did it as I usually do, nothing special about it. And for my brain dump page, I made this border of clouds and just wrote out brain dump in this full calligraphy. I think my handwriting has really gotten a lot better since I started bullet journaling, but it's still, I it could still use some work, but it's nice seeing that it really has gotten better. So, as I said earlier, I will be traveling this month to Seoul in South Korea. So I will be, of course, needing to pack and I love making lists. So I decided to incorporate a packing list page into my bullet journal for this month and it will really come in handy. And also, because I have a lot planned out for the three weeks I'll spend there, I decided to make a to-do in Seoul page as well, with a little airplane flying in through the tea. Oh god, I love pepper airplanes. I, honestly, I'm really good at folding a good airplane. Uh, it's one of my many talents. And then on to the first weekly spread. Because I am trying to fit the entire year into this bullet journal, I'll be doing two weeks per spread this entire month to save some space. I already have enough space for 12 months because I calculated it, but I don't want to have enough space to just do my monthly spreads. I want to be able to incorporate other fun spreads as well. So that's why I'm trying to save as much space as I can in my monthly layouts. I apologize for my voice, by the way. I'm a little sick because I had a performance with my dance group yesterday and it really took a lot out of me. I added a big air balloon behind the things of the weeks and added some shadows to it too. The next week I decided to just draw out some clouds and make them a header for each day. I don't know about the spacing of the clouds. I honestly didn't calculate anything. I just kind of placed them out. <laughs> but you know, it works. Then I added some smaller air balloons, some a bit wonkier than the others, but I think it gives a really nice feeling to it. I gave them some different patterns as well. To be honest with you guys, I really wasn't sure about this theme when I started it out, but now that I'm done with it, I really, really like it.
I went back to the map we spread to add some shadows and so on with the lightest blue I used. Then I was done. And that is it guys for the month of June. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to sit down with me. I'll see you next time. Thank you.